This year, we are awarding four silver gavels and four honorable mentions, citations in the categories of books, documentaries, newspapers, radio, and other media. The chair of the ABA Standing Committee on Gavel Awards, Corey Amron, will introduce each of the award winners and highlight the outstanding contributions they have made to foster the American public's understanding of law and the justice system. Corey. Thank you so much, William. We will begin with the honorable mention citations. Well, I'll only say a few words, mostly how humbling it is and how grateful I am and how wonderful it was to work with my co-author, Joshua Matz. He is not going to be saying anything. Um, <laughs> he's under a kind of gag order because he just finished an extraordinary year uh, with Justice Anthony Kennedy at the U.S. Supreme Court. And because so much of what has happened is very much wrapped up with Justice Kennedy, it simply would be impossible for Joshua to talk about it. But our book goes into much of it, and I want to make sure you know how we are co-authors in every sense. It's been a wonderful experience, and I'm truly grateful for this honor. Thank you so much. I think as storytellers, we really have an opportunity to change the narrative of our generation. And um, that's why I think this award, the Silver Gavel Award from the American Bar Association is so important. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to change the narrative. It's also incredible to be beside so many, so many thinkers, uh, so many scholars, and so many other filmmakers who are also um, as Nadine said, committed to telling stories that hopefully can change laws that can make us better, uh, better leaders, better lawmakers, and uh, more thoughtful activists. One of the great unfinished pieces of business in American life is the consequence of racism and inequality. And even though Brown, 60 years ago, seemed to be setting us on the path toward uh, improving at least in the public schools that problem. Uh, it's clear that this is not uh, working out quite the way uh, everyone expected. So we need kind of the deep reporting that Nicole was able to do, uh, deep investigation to show why this is happening and how it's happening. And uh, we're very pleased to be honored by the ABA for this work. Thank you. Now for the presentation of the Silver Gavel Awards. The 2015 Silver Gavel Award for Radio goes to Serial, season one, produced by Serial. So the Serial production team is currently busy at work on season two. Um, mightily they tried to get here, but regret they've been unable to attend in person. Um, so as a point of personal privilege, I just, I wanted to say that I am not one of those people who walks around with earbuds in their ear, you know, listening to their iPhones. But I listened to every hour of this podcast. I listened while I was walking to the metro. I listened while I was gardening. I listened while I was in the car. Everywhere I listened, walking around the house. Um, I couldn't put it down. And as Koenig's reporting unfolds, it reveals a very human story that we all can relate to. You rethink all your assumptions about alibis, about witnesses, evidence, police investigations, and you come to realize the wisdom of our reasonable doubt standard. So we accept the silver gavel on their behalf and ask you to join in congratulating them. The 2015 Silver Gavel Award for Books goes to Burning Down the House, The End of Juvenile Prison, the new press. I'm, especially after that applause, grateful to everyone in this room and beyond this room who's allowed their mind to be changed in recent years because there is a change happening and we're nowhere near where we need to be, but it's a change, I think, of the scope that can't take place at the political level without first taking place in the hearts and minds of men and women. And that's why I want to end by thanking the ABA. Thank you. 
The 2015 Silver Gavel Award for Documentaries goes to The Case Against Eight, Tripod Media and HBO documentary films. The most nerve-wracking audience for us when we ever showed this film was a group full of lawyers, so I have to begin by thanking the ABA for affirming that we did not mess up our job. Um, I would also like to thank our keynote speaker, Ted Olson, who's full of tears right now. <laughs> um, and David Boyce, who isn't here, and also the hundreds of lawyers, literally hundreds, that were below them working on this case diligently day and night um, for recognizing the importance of transparency. And they never asked us to turn off the cameras, and this was five years. Um, and I think that's a testament to the integrity with which they operated this case that we were never asked to leave and that, that resulted in thousands of hours of footage. Um, and finally, I would like to introduce and thank uh, Chris Perry and Sandy Steer, who were the uh, plaintiffs in the lawsuit, as you saw. And you know, even putting our film aside, I feel like their stories and their lives, um, you know, outside of the frame of the movie, really uh, changed the country and, and definitely changed our country's laws. The 2015 Silver Gavel Award for Newspapers goes to Till Death Do Us Part, the Post and Courier, Charleston, South Carolina. I am proud to say that after the series ran, the General Assembly passed a reform bill, which, while not perfect, uh, did have some important provisions. It had increased penalties for abusers, and it also had a gun provision in it that was extremely controversial. It took some gun ownership rights away from the worst abusers. And uh, if you know anything about South Carolina, you know that the Second Amendment is uh, very, very, very cherished there. And so the fact that that passed at all, uh, we felt like was a huge accomplishment uh, and, and hopefully the start of more to come. So I want to thank you. I hope that this uh, keeps this issue in the forefront in our state and elsewhere uh, so that uh, victims can uh, be kept safer. So I thank the Bar Association. Thank you. And please join me in congratulating all the 2015 Gavel Award winners. Corey, thank you very much. I could not help but be struck uh, by the courage of, of the awardees tonight and, and the hard work that they put into illuminating some of these crucial issues that affect our society and the need for reform in so many areas of our justice system. The stories that are presented in these award-winning works tell about the lives of people caught up in a system that grinds out results, often seemingly oblivious to the lives affected. But these are actual people and real lives. Details, statistics, and generalities create a picture but what makes that portrayal come to life is when it involves actual, detailed, often personal, painful stories. Each of these win winners uh, of these awards portrays our legal system through human eyes, human experiences, and actual life. Fourth, in the end, the work we recognize tonight reflects the craft of these reporters, these historians, these scholars, these filmmakers, these artists. They make the facts and the depictions touch our hearts and move our emotions. And we do weep because the work is so real and so vital and so important. This takes real great skill. We are honoring not just their industry, but their art. The ABA Gavel Awards being, bring recognition to these hardworking, talented creators and focus attention on their work. They should be very proud of what they have contributed and they should know that their work is respected, will be remembered, and will make a difference. Thank you.